This is the virtual tour for 507 Barbados Lane in Foster City, California. Let's take a look inside. As you can see, there's plenty of off-street parking. Two car garage. Uh, in a pinch, if you were having parties, you could stack four cars in the uh, long extended driveway. Since we just received the key yesterday, we haven't had a chance to remove the cardboard recycling and re epoxy the uh, garage. We plan to do that. As we enter through the garage, the in-unit laundry machine is here. And the bed bathroom downstairs. Now this is a small bedroom, uh, but it's perfect for an in-law or a teenage child that wants a little more privacy their view overlooks the concrete portion of the patio that's put in the backyard that's well mean will be well maintained and well landscaped and this is the family room with the fireplace a vaulted ceiling. The blinds can be pulled up for uh, light, good natural lighting. Same with this breakfast nook and the kitchen. This is the dining area mixed in with a living room. And that comes in through the foyer and the front door. You can see the plantation shutter here, shutters here. Again, the walkway into the uh, living room and the dining room. This is the closet. For a coat closet, again, finishing the extension of the downstairs. This is the family room and the breakfast nook. Coming up the stairs, we have what I think is a neat feature. Hardwood floor. A bedroom up here with plantation shutters and privacy green trees that will be landscaped. This is a see-through for natural lighting here and it overlooks the living room and the doorway. This is an area where you can keep your keys and things. And again, the walkway overlooking the foyer and the living room. Coming here left is another bedroom. One of five. And a vaulted look for the backyard. Plenty of closet space. Hello? 
And uh, yeah, and uh, here, another child's bedroom. Come up, Asa. Yeah. Uh, with plenty of natural light once the blinds are drawn. Window overlooking the back uh, yard. The uh, children's bathroom, full bathroom with two sinks and a glass uh, protected bathtub and shower. It's an earth tone marble flooring, Corian top. Lastly, the master bedroom boasts a fireplace with a panoramic bay window and uh, plenty of natural lighting with the windows overlooking Barbados Lane and the rest of the Antigua Homeowners Association. It's quite a nice walk-in closet with a lot of modules, modular shelving and a higher ceiling, lighting and fire sprinklers. The bath and the plantation centers in the master bathroom with his and her sinks uh, makes it quite spacious. Bathtub is large and uh, the shower separate has a massaging unit with a privacy door. Again, the master bath, a bedroom. with the double door entry. This is overlooking the family room and the designer of the house did that to give a, a more open feel. So while space is sacrificed on the upstairs, it's compensated for, or depending on your preference, for a, a more open feel with a lot of natural lighting once the elevated windows are open. The blinds are open. Let's make our way to the downstairs and out to the backyard. As we open to the backyard, you see A very spacious backyard. This concrete patio area is nice because there is sun, but it gets along, it uh, gets enough shade with the trees. These trees will be, will be pruned meticulously to maximize coverage and privacy, but minimize clutter. We will be removing about 80% of that, those agapanthas, and to create a more open feel. And we will be putting in bark and landscaping rocks to retain the bark so it stays there. Bark and mulch will be placed here as well. And some of the plants, not necessary, and the shrubs will be uh, uh, transplanted to other properties. And this will be trimmed. This tree line will be trimmed so it's two, at least two feet off from the tree to minimize rodents from or squirrels climbing and jumping onto the roof. This, again, is a side yard. And I hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour.